everyone, Muriel here. So I'm here tonight to share with you a um, po uh, some policy envelopes that I created. I recently noticed that um, Graphic 45 in their staples are coming out if they haven't already put them out. Some new policy envelopes and they're absolutely gorgeous. So it made me think about the papers that I have in my stash and in my stash I have still a plethora of the on the boardwalk paper pad, uh, 12 by 12 papers. Now I purchased these very early on before I started making uh, videos and I purchased them at Tuesday morning and now I know when you purchase a pack of these papers from Tuesday morning you're going to get uh, 50 sheets or more of the same pattern. I was not aware of that at the time so I still have over 20 sheets left. I have made cards with this paper pad, uh, with these papers. I also uh, did my first um, cigar box using this um, collection, which I really, really adore. I was on the uh, a design team for um, Craft Supplies One. That was, was their name. And um, I created this using some of their lace and pearls. And um, I housed at the time some doilies which you see you can see there's a few of them left in there so I really do love the papers and when I saw that the policy envelopes were coming out I thought why not take these extra papers I have left over from the mini collections and make policy envelopes so that's what I did what I did was I um, took out these envelopes that I purchased from recollection some time ago and this was the size of the policy envelope that I wanted and I wanted it to have the um, string to attach it open and close it so I took one out and I took it apart and I created some measurements for mine and noted the small little um, closure here and the closure on top so once I did that, then I was on a roll. So let me show you what I created. Now these are five and three fourths by six and a quarter. And basically they are uh, very simple on the outside. I had um, some cutouts left over and I had some book paper that I purchased probably at Michael's. So I'm just using some scraps to decorate the envelope with. And that's just a beautiful purse. Um, picture of a woman with a bathing suit on. It's probably from the 1920s I would think. And these do have the closure. So I used uh, two punches to punch out uh, these circles here. I used some eyelets and some twine and they just open with that um, figure eight closure and there you have it. Now I thought about what the card will look like on the inside. So for one I just decorated it like this. This is just some cardstock with a cream color cut out and I'm using one of the label regal dies that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I'm using the larger one and I just distressed the edge and then this is a die from the Sizzik um, Tim Holtz alterations. I thought I had the other um, season but I didn't this is totally Christmas so the only word I thought that would be fitting in this would be uh, believe so I do have an, another idea on these type of dies that I want to use and I'll use it on the inside but for now I just did believe and I'm using a corner punch there to decorate the corners Okay, they're nice and sturdy. This paper is really some sturdy paper and um, just use that figure eight style again to close the envelope. So let me just show you some that I decorated. They're all the same in terms of the closure on the back. I'm just using some black and white twine. So that one looks like that. I didn't put any flowers. I didn't put a title. Um, I just wanted to make some really stylish envelopes with a hint of decor and I wanted to use what I had. I didn't want to throw any of this away. So this is another pattern paper and I had that cut out of Coney Island and the inside of the paper, let's see here, and this is some cream and white um, twine. So the inside of the paper looks like that. So it's, it's real decorated. I mean, from the time the person gets it is decorated, when they open it up, the envelope is decorated, then they pull out the card and the card's decorated. 
and then this one here has that uh, group of women on the boardwalk so so cool and then this one here is from the um, pri uh, ABC primer I had a couple of sheets not a couple I had a few I was gifted some ABC primer papers from a subscriber so I decided to again do the same um, create the uh, closure and then I played on the company's name I just put G and 45 and these are just from a larger sheet that I cut out and the same thing here I did the G45 and just um, use some of the paper again some um, cutouts the circles are cut out from scraps and again the black and white twine and then lastly the ABC primer I just used two of the letters which spell will say BU so um, two important letters of the alphabet so I really had a great time creating these so if you find that you have extra cardstock pattern paper in your stash from one collection you know it wouldn't hurt to make a policy envelope then it's unique then it's you know it's yours and the person that receives it will certainly be surprised by it so thanks again for watching everyone have a wonderful afternoon bye now